Okay guys, I'm just about to go shopping and I'm just gonna show you my fridge. I've just cleaned it all out, took the drawers out, wiped them all out and I've pretty much sprayed and wiped the whole fridge down. Um, the only thing I have left in here is a couple of yogurts, um, some roses, kids have been digging into those. Uh, these are just bits of bacon. They're not sliced, they're pretty cheap from Spud Chill I got. We'll fold them out this morning, but I'll find something to do with them. I've got a mango, it's looking a bit sad. And some eggs in there, and that big pot's just got dog food in. I need to get another container actually just for her food. And then I've got a couple of ginger beers, apple cider, a couple of bourbons in there. Um, fridge drawer, there's some wine, a couple of beers. Pretty empty. Got some cocktail or seafood sauce. Parmesan cheese. Just um, quite a few Philadelphia cheeses left over actually. From, didn't make as many truffles as I would normally make Christmas time. So I've got a few of those to get through still. And 31st of December. Hmm. Have to get that. Could use that for something as well. Um, and just some real butter and a bit of a breakfast in there. And this is my list um, that I did the other day. So I know what I've got in there uh, in the freezers so I don't go buying food that we don't need to buy really. Um, the only thing that's got to come off there is the bacon because I picked that up for this morning. Happy New Year! 2019. Yeah, had a good night last night, eh? Yeah, very good night. Yeah, and we're going to Aldi. I was going to get some of these slider biscuits, but they're 249 for 250 grams. And these ones here are individually wrapped ones, and they're only 269 for 400 grams. So I'll give those a go, and hopefully they're nice. One thing I really love with Aldi is their um, natural seeds and stuff. Look at how cheap they are, $1.59. I've got myself some sunflower seeds, um, natural nut ones. I've got some almonds. We've still got fruit nut mix. And that Aldi um, tuna is really nice. I've showed you these in my vlogs before. But the Mexican sauce one's really good. It's got some beans and stuff in it. That'd be really nice with, um, I'll say James, just some pasta or something mixed in with it. That'd be good. Uh, I just want some normal, some normal trim as well. They're not too cheap. Dollar, dollar nine. I'll probably get them cheaper than that in other supermarket, but I'll get a few now anyway while I'm here. I made this beef stroganoff. These are really cheap too. They're like 99 cents a pack. And it's really, really good. So I'll grab a couple more of those. Still got a few left in the pantry, I think. So we just got back from Aldi and I'm just unpacking everything. It's really hard. I've got James up there. He's um, trying to put all the Christmas stuff away. I've got so much. My house is pretty trashed at the moment. Just got Jai to bring in these big boxes from the shed so we can unpack all the stuff that's in there and put it back on the buffet and pack the Christmas stuff up. So I've got my big food haul up this end and all the Christmas crap up that end. But yeah, I said James, that's what we're doing today. And we've still got bags of um, just wrapping paper and stuff that we ended up using our big plastic bags from our um, bean bags that we filled up with the bean bag balls. Um, yeah, so they've been really good. That's the only thing uh, Christmas that does my head in is the rubbish. And our bins have been emptied already, so. But yeah, let's get into this food haul and I'll show you what I've got and get it packed away quick with cold stuff first, as usual because it's 34 degrees so and it's hot. Like, we've got the aircon cranking, but yeah, it's pretty warm. So we've got some Singapore noodles, got two packs of those. I'm gonna do stir fry obviously with them. A couple of sour creams marked down. I wasn't gonna buy these ones, I thought, oh, no, I'll get normal, but you know what, the stuff's kind of off already anyway, so I'm sorry, who cares. Um, like Greek, Greek style yogurt. I don't mind this one. It's not as nice as the one I get from Woolies, but it is $1.50 cheaper, so, you know. I can put up with that. We got six litres of high low milk, got a tub of butter, salmon. We got two big bags of salmon, they're 25 bucks a bag for a kilo. Um, James actually had to dig to China to get me another one from the bottom. Um, but I said to hubby, yeah, we'll grab two of those because. Um, 
The kids like it. Lachlan's the only one who doesn't like salmon. So, Hutto and Scarlet, yeah. Hutto really loves it. He was asking for salmon this morning for brekkie. Um, so we've got two of those. I've got two of the mixed veggies. These are the ones that I use for um, Lucy's food, but obviously nothing wrong with that. We can eat it as well. I also grabbed these ones more so for us. Two of the winter vegetables. And I grabbed a marinated butterfly pork. I thought this looked pretty good. It's normally 12 41 it was down 8 69 It's got like all herbs and yummies all over it, so I thought that'd be nice. In some wraps with some salad for a dinner. Or yeah, dinner, lunch, whatever. And I got this little mince. Um, I already have a little bit of mince in the freezer, so I said to hubby, if I get another little one, that'll be enough just to add to it, just to make a little bit more. And I've got some yogurts for the kids. These are 18 value pack, and there's strawberry, passion fruit, and vanilla in here. Um, pretty good buy, actually. They're only about $5, $5.50 maybe. So that's pretty cool. And we got a three pack of these cheese pizzas. I do have a couple of pizzas in the freezer already, but I thought for six bucks, it's pretty good value. And you know, you've always got anything that you can put on a pizza in your fridge, so it's pretty good. So let's give those a go. I got some hash browns. These hash browns are really, really good. These are also low in cholesterol. Um, we actually cooked up some of those this morning for breakfast. And we got some light shredded cheddar cheese. I haven't had any of this for a while, but I've had lots of cheese over Christmas, like Christmas and cauliflower cheese and stuff. And my last cold thing, I think anyway, is um, I got one, two, three, yeah, three of the beef and kangaroo. 100 grams um, dog food for Lucy. She loves that, so I have to do a big cook up for her. So, the only thing I was annoyed with with Audi today is the fruit and veggies weren't really fantastic prices, and how much I spent on shopping. It's like, oh my god. But um, I did get some nanas. I got a big bag of spinach. It's pretty good value, actually, the 300 gram bag from Audi, as you've seen in previous vlogs. I got a pineapple. This is only two bucks um, and I bought two before Christmas and it's just beautiful and this stuff is good, it eats your fat so um, yeah, get stuck into that if you want to, you know, help burn away some calories. I uh, got some green grapes, some tomatoes, grape tomatoes, I actually got, got these and um, I always open them and squeeze them and check them and there was some orange ones. And I picked them up and had a look and I said, James, oh, there's a spider in there. And there was a white tip spider in the bloody tomatoes. James went and told the lady. And she didn't want to touch it. A couple of cardos. They were $1.70 each, which is not too bad. I don't mind paying that for cardos. I've got a kilo punnet of yellow peaches. Same thing. I always crack them. See what they're like. They're quite nice. I love stone fruit. I love summer fruit, just in general, actually. Bananas and strawberry, oh, so good. Um, yeah, so that's all me fruit and veggie bits, so it's a little bit sad. I grabbed some more of these Ziploc bags, uh, 50 pack of sandwich ones. James saw these hooks marked down, and they weren't much cheaper, but as so we put those in the trolley, I got some toothbrushes, mine's a bit yuck, so. Well, it's time to get me a new one of them. And these are really cheap. There's like a dollar eighty for a two pack, so can't go wrong with that. Don't mind the kids. And twenty five pack of the large ones. And I'm not really even sure what size these are, but they're bigger than those ones. <laughs> so got me some of them. Um, I'll probably use some of those for Christmas stuff going too. I think. Uh, the pine nuts and the natural almonds crackers I showed you, um, got some more rice cracker snacks, pasta I got two packs of the large gels, James said he quite likes those ones, and I got six of the spiral pasta, like I said I use these for um, my poop cheese food, um, so yeah I want to make, um, I'm really enjoying a salad that I make with those, I'll tell you that in a minute. Um, got two dozen eggs, so I've got the dozen in the fridge still. 
the milk. There's fix in there. That was good. I don't normally buy them like that. I'm normally buy two. I bought did buy a carton last time. That's because James loves buying bulk. Um, I got one of my mixed grain loaves of bread, a whole a whole meal, two white uh, loaves of bread, which yeah, not really happy, happy about buying that crap for the kids, but they like it. So fruit loaf, Jai loves that for brekkie. And over this side we have a couple of these beef stroganoff. I don't know if I told you in my last vlog, but um, I was really impressed with this beef stroganoff. I think it was beautiful. I think it was actually nicer than the continental one that I would normally buy. Or Maggi, whatever one. And we got some fly spray. Uh, that one's odorless, that one's a eucalyptus smell. Some more toilet gel. James found this. Um, five blade razor kit. This was actually a really good buy, 10 bucks. Look how pretty that is. Um, but yeah, five blades in there. That, so good. The armpits were a bit hairy. <laughs> I shaved them yesterday, but that's the Joseph Nunez shaver. Um, so that's it. Oh no, what else we got? Oh, I bought these um, cleaner things. These were like only four bucks. I said, James, that'd be good to clean my wheels. And my new car car with. And this wash pad. Feels really nice. I'm going to actually wash my car later and put it in the carport. Got it out in the grass and the birds are crapping all over it. Gonna rule my paint, not happy. Uh, a couple of self raising flour, bought lock on the waffle maker for Christmas. Um, and we've been enjoying waffles, they're so good. And the tuna I've mentioned before, oh, this one is just my favorite. It's got the little beans inside there, it's a little bit spicy. And this mixed with some noodles would be just delicious. You could add some extra veg juice, make it a little bit more healthy, and bulk it up if you wanted to. I can be really good. Uh, grabbed a couple of the seeded mustard ones for James to try and I got three of the ones in spring one as well um, Yeah, like I said to you before Not really a big fan of tuna, but it's really high in protein which my body needs um, But this one I do really really love so if you haven't bought that give it a go I bought some more coconut oil haven't had any of that for a while um, So many good benefits to having this stuff it's just amazing I get back to basics this year. I'm gonna get back into the meal prep and all that. Um, but anyway, back to the shopping. Two pasta sauces. I want to make the spag bulb or something with that mince I was showing you. These black beans. I've told you this before. These are so cheap, like 85 cents. These same bloody things. You will wish you'd pay three bucks for a can of that. So just stop it. Uh, corn and beetroot. Three each of those. These were only like. I want to say 89 cents for one. These weren't much more. So James, yet with Barbie weather, we'll have a few more of those. Got some diced tomatoes. And my second last thing I bought was this 99% fat-free Italian dressing. Um, years and years ago, we used to follow a diet. Um, I just can't think. I think it was Maggie Tabra's diet. Um, but I remember like my mum, my sisters and I, we all used to go on this diet, it was really good. But one of the meals for one of the weeknights was a crumbed piece of fish that you'd grill and then just cooking up like some pasta and then mixing some of this Italian dressing through it and having, um, not having, putting some like diced tomato, capsicum and like grating some carrot into it and that and it is so good and it stays in your fridge for like up to four days it's a good meal meal prep thing to do for when you you know get back into work and stuff if you you know yeah you might be back at work already but um yeah it's so good and like i said it gets better in the fridge the flavor sort of sucks into the noodles it's so good um and the last thing we got is James has seen this a few times and wanted to buy it. I'm like, no. What's the tune today? Just get it. It was five bucks off. And it's this big, sorry, it's so bright in there. Uh, big floor tarp. So you put it on the floor outside your caravan or your tent or whatever when you're camping. Uh, it's normally 25 bucks and we got that for 20. Um, so quite an expensive shop at Aldi today. But after when we came out, I said to James, it's actually not bad. Not that bad because the salmon was 50 bucks for the two bags and that mat was like 20 so it's pretty good um 
Yeah, so I still need to get some fruit um, and veggies and that. And the total came to 281 bucks. So quite a lot. Actually, it was a bit less than that because I took my that um, meat that I showed you that I got marked down. I actually scanned through at the original price, so I took that back. But I have been checking my receipts because I'm sick of them ripping me off. So, um, yeah, so I had a good scan of that. And before we came home to make sure that I, yeah, saved as much money as I can. So I'm just going to pack all this away and then I'm going to do like a um, little bit of a meal plan. It doesn't need to be too full on um, as long as I'm on holidays and James is on holidays. So I'm just looking at my garden. I haven't worn out the bag for a few days. It's really hot. Um, I should have watered. Um, but yeah, sorry, squirrel. <laughs> I get so sidetracked. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be doing some different vlogs in the new year. For this year, rather. Not for the new year. It's so weird. That's the new year already. But um, yeah, that's going to be my vlog for today um yeah I'll, like i said i'll be doing more vlogs but they're just random you know me i do say i'm gonna do this on change of mine so so earlier we had the white tip spider in the food and now i just picked up these ice bombs at the spot shed and they got a bloody moth and they're flying around too these little bastards we just got back from the spud shed. I got James to come with me, and we spent about 80 bucks. I don't even know where my receipt went. I did have it somewhere, but is it there? It was there somewhere? I don't know. Yeah, it's about 81 bucks. By memory, didn't grab too much stuff. Um, I think the most expensive thing was actually my bag of diced chicken that I bought. I normally buy that for the canteen. I make hot chicken rolls and salads and I use that for the toasties and stuff. But I thought that'd be good, um, easy to grab stuff, um, eating healthy. I also grabbed a bag of nuggets. There's only $5.99 for a kilo, so it's pretty cheap. And the only other cold thing I really brought was I bought two more blocks of palms and cheese because I said James says they're $3.99 each and normally they're like. I want to say six fifty for one, so it's pretty much, ooh, pretty much two for one, so it's pretty good life. Um, and the rest is just pretty much veggies. I didn't even get any fruit. It wasn't anything really exciting there. Okay, I picked up a bag of mescal mix for salads. I also grabbed a little lettuce. That was like dollar forty or something, so pretty good. Purple cabbage. I want to make some coleslaw with that baby. It was only ninety nine cents. Corn on the cob. Beautiful big back ones and they were five two bucks so it's good cherry tomatoes some sweet potatoes the candies they were three for i think three for a dollar i don't know and they had red capskins they're like pretty massive like that big there but they're pretty fresh and beautiful so i don't mind and i was only talking about aldi last night at the new year's eve party saying how these bloody cats can red cats can all shit and they were shit again today. The price price. Got a bag of mushies, these were cheap, $7.99 a kilo. And we'll eat some of those for breakfast and we'll also use some for spaghetti bob. Broccoli's two for bucks, so that's pretty good. Uh, celery, $1.50, I'm gonna use that for my um, egg salad that I like to make. Got some spring onion, that was only 99 cents. Um, the tuna and brine, see what I mean? Like I was saying in my vlog earlier, these were only 99 cents in the spud shed, so I just grabbed four of those. And I grabbed two white loaves of bread as well. This is heaps softer than the white bread I got from Aldi. And I also grabbed um, a packet of hamburger buns. I've got, like I said, or yeah, on my thing that I had in the freezer already, I've had some hamburger buns, but we love, we love cheesy, so. Um, and I've got a big pack of sausages in the freezer as well, so maybe we can cook those up on the barbecue and make some hot diggity dogs with those. But yeah, that was it for 80 bucks, so yeah, it wasn't a lot really for what I got. But I suppose in saying that my chicken that I was just showing you was, already, like, was 14 bucks already, so quite a lot. Um, 
yeah but yeah everything i bought is like really nice and fresh so that's cool it's a bit funny with this budget it's like really hit and miss and most of the time you do need to dig to china to find something good and i missed a bag of shopping <laughs> it's just these uh whole split chickens from the spot shed these are really beautiful and it's like so cheap 4.99 a kilo so i got two i got the herb and garlic split chicken this one for the kids and the peri peri for james and i this one was only eight dollars and seven cents this one was twelve dollars thirty obviously this one's heaps bit more heavier but um yeah it's a pretty cheap meal and if you haven't tried these and you do have a spot shed like give these a go they're really really good um yeah, I just want to eat this capsicum, it's so good. I'm, so, I'm actually really hungry. It's six o'clock, I've just got some salmon and chucked it in the sink. Leave it in the bag that it is in um, and just pop it in the sink in some water for just cold water for about 10 minutes. It's like totally thought out. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have that for dinner and I'm gonna make the kids some of the pizzas. Scarly Poo's got her friend over. Um, yeah. So that's what's on the menu tonight. Um, I was actually thinking of doing some vlogs of just my dinners. I've been watching this mum on YouTube and she's got eight kids and she does vlogs and it's just dinners and it's so random. Like they eat, um, like they might have two steak and cheese um, slider little burgers and then the rest of the plate's full of grapes. Um, or they have like chips like crisps they have something on the plate and then that other half plate will just be chips and stuff. yeah it's really weird um but yeah i love it i love watching people's youtube channels and seeing how yeah how people do things differently i guess it's pretty cool but yeah i hope you enjoyed my little healthy food shop um and thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next one